During this section, we are going to deploy a pretty interesting Laravel project. And for that, well, as usual, we need to first publish or basically deploy and secure a new subdomain for it. I know. This might sound a little repetitive for you, but this is a very important step. This is a very important action that you need to perform in your server. And in this way, I can be completely sure that you understand all the possibilities because you eventually could get it wrong. And well, that is the best way to learn resolving that possible mistakes and of course getting everything functional. So once again, the first step is to add the record on the DNS configuration. And this time, this is going to be, of course, a CNAME type called Laravel as an alias of the super secure domain.com. So, once again, we don't need the proxy yet temporarily. We save and while the DNS propagates throughout the internet, we can go to our BPS connection. And if we go to etc nginx sites available, we can, of course, create a duplicate of the default file. So, we have sudo cp default and we are going to call that laravel.supersecuredomain.com once we have it there well we just need to open that with sudo nano laravel.supersecuredomain.com once again the usual we remove the default server from there because it cannot be there we only need one we enable the security headers pretty functional all the same don't worry you are getting this pretty good so once again, this is laravel.supersecuredomain.com. Be sure that everything is correspondingly issued. And this time, once again, we have index.php. Now, the server name is laravel.supersecuredomain.com. At this point, everything is working fine. But we need to make a difference here to be sure that Laravel is going to handle even the 404 responses. For example, if we try to access a file that exists in the public folder of Laravel, so this is going to be there. But if it does not exist, we are going to send the request directly to the index.php file, and additionally, Laravel is going to take care of that. Eventually, if the request is completely invalid, Laravel itself and not Nginx is going to return the corresponding 404 response. So that means that here, instead of returning directly a 404 response, we need to say that if the location doesn't exist as a file or as a folder, we send that directly to the index.php file, which is located in the root of Laravel. In fact, the rule in Laravel is a little different. I'm going to show you in a few seconds. And optionally, after a question mark, we need to send a parameter called query string. Be sure this is a variable, so we need the dollar symbol here and query underscore a string. Be sure to issue this correspondingly because in that way you can be sure that if your URL of the request has any query string, any URL parameter, this is going to be sent directly to the index.php file. Additionally, in fact, in the case of Laravel and some other PHP frameworks, the index.php file is not located directly in the root of the project. It is located in a folder called public. So that means that the root of the web server is public because there is the index.php file. But the other directories, controllers, models, views, etc. are located in a different level. This is in fact a security improvement from those specific frameworks because in that way, they are ensuring that someone that access from the web server can get access, well, only to the public directory and the structures that are there, but not to the other sensitive ones. So once it is clear, we just need to enable PHP as well. So let's to do it. We need to remove the comments here, 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 and here. And remember, we need to remove those lines and, of course, preserve and close the location block here. Once again, be careful with the version, if it is 7.4 or 8.0 or whatever that you have. At this point, we have these sites perfectly configured are prepared for Laravel. So we can close, save the changes, and eventually, as you may remember, we can now create the symbolic link. So let's do search for ln-s, and this time we are going to do it for laravel.supersecuredomain.com. 
we press enter and of course you can verify that structure inside enabled and that is the symbolic link of Laravel pointing to the exact same file inside available. So that means that we can check the syntaxes with nginx-t. Everything is okay, so we can reload the nginx service. There is it. Now, at this point, if we go using an incognito session to laravel.supersecuredomain.com, we are going to get that expected response. We have nothing there, but of course this is working because we are getting the traffic directly to our server. Now it is time to obtain so the security certificate. So let's go and search for certbot. There is it. And of course, this time once again we need to change that to laddable.supersecuredomain.com. Let's do presenter. And of course, certbot is going to take care of the entire configuration obtain the security certificates and now we just need to enable HTTP2 and after that reload the service of Nginx and finally enable the proxy of Cloudflare. So let's to go back to our previous location. Let's to open once again the Laravel configuration and now we can go to the end of the server block once again and when we have listen 443 we just need to modify to adding HTTP2 and the same here http2 pretty nice we close confirm the changes once again we need to verify the syntaxes using nginx-t perfectly functional and now we just need to reload the service of nginx so at this point of course this is still working perfectly but this is pretty secure now and we got a valid certificate directly from let's encrypt once it is done that means that we can just go directly to cloudflare and modify this entry enabling the proxy and that means that this is perfectly secure even more now and even more faster thanks to the Cloudflare services. That's all. See you in the following class once we have this site perfectly deployed to add some contents from the Laravel structure and using an existing Laravel project.